This was a hastily prepared evening news conference. It has virtually caught everyone off guard because of the timing. It wasn't that it was unexpected. This is a prime minister who's had a very tough year ever since he went into office. But it was the timing, because it was about a month ago that he completely reshuffled his cabinet. He was hoping for a boost in the approval ratings. But in new approval ratings that came out just today, it showed that he was slumping downward yet again. He has had a very tough year. It's been marked by political gridlock and disarray and also a sputtering economy. Uh, in his evening press conference, Jim, he did say that he was resigning because the diet is about to start. It starts on the 12th. But he thought the timing was good and that he began some reforms, but it really needs to be carried out by a new, more popular leader. Jim? So what happens next? What, what impact is this move going to have on the markets? Well, it's really going to be very complicated for the markets and the economy overall, because when you have a political election, when you have such political disarray, it's really hard to have a forward-moving economy at this point. And what the government is hoping for, at least what the people are hoping for, is a more bold leader. There is someone in the wings. There is uh, the lieutenant to this party, to the LDP. His name is Tara Asshole, and they, he, they, at least publicly, he does enjoy some broad support. He's seen as outspoken. He's seen as very brash. Uh, but at this point, it's really hard to say if he's going to have any significant impact on the economy overall, because when you have an election, it's very, very difficult to make decisive steps, especially since the Nikkei in just this year has fallen from 16, 18 percent.